This is part two of the flying wing where I'll add the texture maps and uh, render it with a uh, cloudy uh, blue background. This is what the model is going to look like once all the texture maps are applied. One modification I'll make is to the uh, exhaust of the engine. And when you turn it to turbo smooth, you get a nice little dip in there. One more modification is to add more geometry for the um, uh, cockpit and the, uh, uh, the inlet. Once we mirror and attach the other half of the airplane, um, and weld the two pieces together, we'll um, extrude some of the um, canopies, uh, polys, and go to extrude, and extrude them up about 0 0.05 or so. Now we can delete the left half of the plane and we'll add a UVW uh, unwrap. And we'll start, um, open the uh, UV editor and everything's all jumbled up together. And we'll, we'll, we'll do automatic mapping here. And just select every, everything and just go to flatten mapping. And I'll put it to about 60 degrees. And you get most of the parts uh, laid out fairly uh, nicely. And just move that to the left. Okay, for the polys for the inlet and outlets, uh, we want to uh, planar map them. Uh, just select the polys, uh, break, and we'll go to quick planar map and just separate, separate the two. Okay, let's jump ahead here um, from this area the left of the box will um, select like the like the uh, glass the the inlet uh, the outlet and the uh, cones okay I got all the parts uh, laid out uh, on the right side I've scaled them up and then we got the top wing and bottom wing parts now that we got all the parts in the box, uh, we want to um, go to render UVW template and it should be 1024, but I'll make it 512 just so that you can see it in the, in the port here. And you save as a PNG file for your paint program. Let's jump ahead to our color map. Um, We'll flatten it and save as a TGA file. Okay, this will be for our uh, normal map. We got the wing lines and the template, and we'll just line the uh, the wing lines up, and we'll make. Um, lines for the top and bottom wing. And then we'll just right click flatten. Make sure you have the uh, normal map filter installed. This is Photoshop. And we'll blur that.
and that'll be our normal map and you'll save that as a TGA file as well okay let's apply the, the uh, early uh, color map I'll use the first diffuse which is the uh, earliest one and I'll add the bump that we just did and we'll load the TGA uh, normal map Now that they're both loaded, we'll just drag the material slot onto the plane and we get the uh, diffuse and normal together. Okay, there's one more edit to the uh, normal map and that's for the fans and turbine. And we make a fan outline layer and then we just fill it in with gradients. Let's load the updated uh, normal map. and you can go to view at view image and you can see okay we've made a selection of the normal map lines and uh, I already have the a diffuse layer effects layer and I'll copy from the diffuse and paste into the uh, layer effects layer paste in place and turn off the normal map and we got some extra texture this is what the updated uh, color map is going to look like okay the last texture map will be uh, a very simple um, specular map and uh, the brighter areas uh, will make for brighter uh, reflections Lo load the specular map and um, this is what it looks like you can make the adjustments okay the texture maps are all done so we'll just uh, make a mirror copy of of the half and uh, line that up as best we can before we weld it uh, but make sure you attach it go to attach and make them both uh, one object weld the points right down the middle and once you got that done you got the model uh, finish use uh, shift move to make clones of the airplane and use the uh, scale button to scale them back so I got like two clones and I scaled them back and use rotate to uh, move them into a different position okay now that we got that done we got we can add a uh, background go to viewport background and you can add a um, cloud texture uh, make sure show background is on and then we want to render a still it's not going to show the background so you have to you have to load the same map into under common parameters and then you get the render uh, check out my website for my uh, written tutorial and you can read it at your own pace